Old-fashioned cameras have always had a leg up on cell phones because of interchangeable lenses that enhance photos. Not anymore. A variety of new lenses are available now for smartphones, so making it easier to capture that perfect Instagram picture. Jeffrey Fowler with me now. He covers all things at Tech Gadget for the Wall Street Journal. Jeff, I know you tested out numerous lenses. What's out there? What do you like the best? Well, there's a whole bunch of different kind of shots that you can get much better if you put a little bit of extra glass on the front of your phone. Um, one of the types of shots that I find the most helpful is actually just a little zoom or telephoto is what they call it. Basically, this gives you twice the, the, the view that you would normally get on your phone, and it makes it look kind of more like you see in real life. My favorite of those was this one called the moment. It's going to cost you a hundred bucks and uh, looks like this uh, serious piece of glass you can see here on the on the front of this uh, uh, camera, but uh, it really does a nice job. So Another Jeffrey, kind of, uh, shot. sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I'm just curious. I mean, how easy is it to use? Do you have to have some experience with multi lenses? Do you have to know what you're doing is what I'm asking. You don't really have to know what you're doing, but you do have to be willing to carry around something extra. And the, there are so many different kinds of these lenses out there, and each of the makers has kind of a different approach to it. The Moment folks, who I just showed you, they have a little sticker you put on the back of your phone lets you kind of lock in the lens. Another one that's really popular is called the Olo Clip. I've got that here. What it does is it kind of just slips over the top of the phone and uh, lets you, uh, you know, keep it on a keychain or whatnot, but it takes a little bit more flexing uh, while you're out and about. Okay, so I heard you say for the first product that you mentioned, it's around $100. Is this more or less the range? Yeah, you know, it can really vary. Um, I found some, you know, I tested over 30 of these for my column in the journal this week. I, some were as cheap as like $10. Others were even more than 100 I will say with lenses, you generally get what you pay for. What you really want here is good quality glass. Because if you don't get that, what's going to happen, especially on some of those wide shots like I was talking about, you're going to get a lot of fringing and it's going to look kind of weird and you're not going to want those images anyway. So, Jeffrey, last question as far as use goes. I mean, one reason why so many people like their smartphones and they like the photos is because it's pretty quick, right? You take out your phone or it might be out anyway and you just snap. So is there a quickness quotient at all in here? Sure, you have to kind of get used to it. You have to carry these around. Um, uh, some people love that auto clip for just, again, being able to slip it over the top. But I actually like this uh, moment, which also they make a uh, wide angle lens, which is pretty good, because you just kind of twist it on and you're good to go and it feels locked on. So let's say you're, uh, you know, riding the car or doing something a little motion, you don't feel like it's ever going to fall off. And that, that made me feel secure, like I could go around and really use it on a vacation or on a uh, photo scouting mission to. Uh, amp up my Instagram. All right. Well, for people, Jeffrey, who are looking for gifts, Valentine's Day or others, I'm sure they're going to be happy to read about the 30 that you tested. Thanks for sharing the results. Jeffrey Fowler joining us there from the Wall Street Journal.